<laughs> I'm the Hawkeye and welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And have I got something for you today? We are continually continuing the series Every Model by a Manufacturer. Yes, and um, today we're going to be looking at Malibu, let's dust it off here, Malibu International LTD. Yes, and uh, these came out 2005 to 2007, something like that. Uh, so let's take a look at, I think I have every casting that they made, all right? Uh, I don't know about every color, but uh, I'm pretty sure I have every casting. And um, first off, let's take a look at this little itty bitty one. Um, so Malibu International, as far as I know, was um, a Walmart brand. I'm not really sure exactly what, how, or when they did this, but when Walmart was big and powerful and decided to do some really cool stuff, um, they went out and um, they worked with Malibu International uh, and, and they made a whole line of, of cars. And I believe it was only through Walmart um, that you could buy these. Uh, as far as I remember, oh yeah, here it is, High Speed, manufactured by High Speed. Well, anyway, I have a whole video about these. Uh, we'll tag it at the end of the video, but uh, these came from Walmart. Now, this is the 186 scale, and um, now, uh, oh, I didn't grab one of those, but they came uh, just a little bitty th plastic body, metal or plastic base metal bodies and then glass nice interiors um they have like plastic rubber tires they're not they have some give oh i'm sorry they have some give to them but they're not so they're two piece and they're not like hot wheels tires they're they're like rubbery all right so this apparently is the only, oh no, and now I just took off the little, uh, yeah, they're, they're not really, <laughs> they're not toys, they're just display things. I just took off that, that uh, rail there. But anyway, so as far as I know, they made a Discovery 3, Land Rover Discovery 3, and there was a couple of variations. The other packaging that they had was and you know what i'm just gonna go get one hold on a second oh yeah I'm, I'm back i'm back i went and got it the other thing that they would do is they would put a little trailer with it with oh excuse me caravan they would put a little caravan with it but it still was a discovery three with caravan and there was a couple of different uh colors blue whatnot so they would have this and then they would have the single car and so they had a Discovery casting. They also, in the uh, 187th scale, they also had a Range Rover Sport. Look at that cute little bugger. And uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, also, that one also came in with a caravan. Look at that nice blue one. And that was the Range Rover Sport in the 182nd, 87th scale. Now, where is high speed right now? Can you buy those cast, uh, those dies? You know, um, somebody's got to own them. Uh, maybe they destroyed them. I don't know. But in Malibu or the, the um, Malibu International was big. That was, oh my goodness. These call for high, high dollars. At not just the Land Rover, they did they did everything, man. They did a whole bunch of cars, and uh, sold like hotcake. They were very reasonable too. Um, really kind of cool. So as far as I know, and guys, you know, tell me in the comments below 
While you're down there, hit me a big thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends, all right? Share this video. So as far as I know, for Malibu International, they had for the 187 scale, a Range Rover Sport and a Disco 3. All right, so then they also did a larger scale and we're gonna go right to the Disco 3, the 164 scale. And I thought I had some of these out and loose, but apparently not. But uh, anyway, um, this was 2007 now and uh, just, just a beautiful little models, man. So they did the Disco 3, the Discovery 3. And uh, then they also did the uh, Freelander V6, which this is kind of a goofy looking Freelander, but it's a Freelander and it's a Land Rover. Um, now I don't have, this is the only one of these that I have. That's, that's crazy, I, can, I know, isn't it? That's just outrageous. But uh, I think this was towards the end and uh, boy, they were just hard to get, 2007. But um, it was the release date. Uh, so this is a 2006, uh, 2003, excuse me, 2003, uh, the Freelander V6. Uh, so yeah, very, very hard to find. So they did, uh, uh, they have a casting there and a casting there. Then they also went with the um, Range Rover they all, in the 164th, a regular Range Rover. Now this is different than the Range Rover Sport, okay? So uh, if you look at the back windows there, if you don't know the difference between a Range Rover and Range Rover Sport, it's the back windows, well, I mean, I, other than that. Uh, but this is the big flagship Land Rover, Range Rover, and full size, uh, shark gills on the, on the front fenders, but full size does not have that sloping, sporty rear end and the vents there and stuff. I mean, obviously there's more than just that that makes the difference between the Range Rover and the Range Rover Sport, but that's, you know, just a quick glance, that's the way you can tell the difference uh, from that. So there's another casting, uh, that die that they have. Um, and then they have the, uh, Range Rover, um, sport. Now the, the regular Range Rover, which is kind of interesting, the regular Range Rover, uh, look at the taillights on that painted taillights, just regular painted taillights, but the sport has inserts. So a little bit fancier, um, 2007, so they're still saying. Um, but yeah, so then they had the uh, Range Rover Sport, which is very, very nice. So that was another casting. So really, really kind of cool. Most of these have inserts. Now the Freelander doesn't have inserts, but the Discovery does. That has inserts in there. So, uh, and then the little, the little buggers are just so little you can't, you know, they just put, uh, they just painted those, you know. Yeah, well, of course they got them on the front. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's a quick look at um, a toy manufacturer and what uh, castings they had. So they had one, two, three, four of the 164 scale. And then they had one, two, as far as I know, of the 187 scale. So really, really kind of cool. This is some really awesome stuff. So I hope you like this. Yeah, we're kind of continuing on the series of, uh, you know, Land Rovers by manufacturers. Uh, maybe some of you heard about this one, maybe not, but uh, this is a really cool one. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. Big thumbs up, doesn't even fit in the frame. Yeah, look at that thumb. All right, make sure you subscribe. Come on over to Facebook. Uh, drop a picture over in Facebook there, Roverland and Instagram, uh, and uh, drop me a picture of yours. Um, is there more? There, I, you know, I think this is it. I was pretty, pretty good at catching them. Um, so there you go. All right, this is your friend Dan Almada here. Thank you for joining me. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, 
and have a great Rover Day!